and also when it comes to my 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 brand right now i think i'm at a point where i really need to encourage myself um seriously this is a real moment <laughs>
always always held up my life is i don't know i'm always held up not helping me so guys i i think look at what's with me here i have another oh, hi baby you're woken up i have another great um a conspiracy of friends how do i focus honestly i don't know my goodness i don't know how to focus oh yeah it's coming a conspiracy of friends then i have my notebook this notebook we were given in campus by ascent the journey the journey gosh i need to show you guys this notebook it's my campus notebook i think look Yes, and leadership experience. Seriously, thank you to those people. I think this is the best experience of my life. It really changed my life so much. And just so you see how much. Let me read with you guys some of the notes on this book just now. This was September, I mean October 2019. Ascent. I was learning how to be a facilitator. Mm -hmm. Noise and silence. When was the last time you were in, in, a, in a solitary place? Why is it easier to surround myself with noise and pause and be in silence? Second face, my joy with confidence. Now me and focusing the F yes, servant leadership. I was going through this notebook and I'm like seriously ni mimi nilikuwa naandika hizi vitu. Yaani ni vitu ziko na content. Content here life. The kind of things people don't really love to hear, which is like, um, you know, radical candor, which is ideally just, I don't know. Now, this is the passage I want to read with us, guys. Just one statement. Your dreams get you through your worst days. I was just reading this to my husband. They're the reason you wake up every morning. Then I was just writing value before fame. Ish. Hey, I was a good girl. I was like, act. Dream. I mean, dream, act, pray, push yourself. You've got this girl. Seriously, I feel like these are the things we should be reading right now because I'm at a point in life when I am, I think, so here's the thing. Recently, look, recently I met someone who will be in my life for, a, for quite some time. And they were like, the way they act, the way that they're doing everything, it's really just to make a change. They, they like they have this line that they have they like to use they say now work unto god as unto man like in everything live to please god try to live to please god or live for a purpose you know and it's good to live for a purpose these are sharon tarita thoughts at 12 a.m in the night yeah I think I'm at a point where I really, really am I'm pushing myself to live a purposeful life or a meaningful life. And I'm just like, you know, yeah. Intentional level. Any, I'm not going to tell my life how to push. 
you're just there really flowing and every day as it comes and it's not to say that you have problems or you're unhappy no you just don't have push you're just living every day as it comes and then they're just people you meet and they make a radical change over your life it's just like um you you wake up for a purpose you know you just you are reading you are praying you're pushing yourself and also when it comes to my 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 brand right now I think I'm at a point where I really need to encourage myself. Um, seriously, this is a real moment. I just really need to just tell myself, you got this girl. So you see, when I get in, when I get in, when I get into my notebook and I'm reading things I wrote in campus and they're telling me things like, oh, my baby is awake. Oh, no, not me with focus again. Look at this. Now you can't be able to read this. No, unless I do this. You can't be able to read this. But it just says, dream, act, pray, push yourself. Which part is the 